Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be doing a little bit of a mini review and a tryout with a new palette from one of my favorites, ColourPop. Now this one came out a while ago, um, but with the shipping issues that everyone is having right now, it took me a while to get my hands on this so I've had it for a couple of weeks now I've used it a couple of times and I really really like it so I thought I'd do a look with it and um, we'll just chat about you know what's going on what's going on in your life what's going on in my life um, it is the all that palette from ColourPop That's what the front looks like they do such a really good job with their packaging this one doesn't happen to have a mirror in it and those are the shades it's very pinky kind of smoky I think a little sexy this actually would have been really perfect for Valentine's Day and maybe that's about the time that it actually came out I'm not sure but I do know they still are uh, still have it on their website so you can still get your hands on it either way it's got mauves and pinks and surely you have a palette that might work for that and you can just do your makeup along with me if you're new here my name is Christine I do makeup lifestyle um, we do a lot of chit chatting on this channel and um, makeup is my my safe space it's where I like to sit and just relax and put on my makeup it's kind of my my own therapy it's how I take care of myself um, not that anyone needs makeup to feel beautiful or look beautiful but I love makeup I love makeup so I like to play with it this is my me time I get to sit down and do something that I really like so sorry for the very sporadic release dates of my of my videos so far um, we're all kind of just trying to survive and come out on the other side um, during this uh, virus outbreak and that's what I'm doing uh, I take it easy when I don't feel like uh, I can be in front of the camera and I'm just trying to forgive myself and be a little easier on myself as far as deadlines and uh, things I know I should be getting done. What I should be doing is focusing on my family and my health and that's what's most important right now. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing what's right for us and um, when I have time to sit down and do a video and I'm feeling up and I because I don't want to come on in a video and tell you uh, uh, how horrible I've been feeling but um, sometimes those things are true I have good days and bad days just like everyone else and when I have those not so up days I don't feel like being in front of the camera and I don't feel like putting on makeup so I don't do this every day um, there are plenty of days where I sit in my pajamas and not barely brush my teeth and wash my face so um, my to-do lists are wake up and stay awake for a while and there you go that's it I accomplished something that day so please don't be hard on yourself during these times this is unprecedented we've never gone through anything like this before so um, nobody is going to be able to tell you how you need to do this uh, pandemic because nobody's ever been through this before if you're learning six languages and you are working out and you're getting in the best shape of your life and that's how you want to deal with this time then by all means I'm behind you hundred percent do that not everyone is able to do that um, so we're gonna be kind and try to support each other through it that's what we're gonna do so today we're gonna be putting on some very pretty makeup and um, trying out uh, again one of my very affordable and very favorite brands ColourPop so I got out my big Morphe brush kit I don't think I've ever shown that to you before these are my Morphe brushes I try to use these during my videos only because they have the numbers on them and you can actually look them up and it'll tell you what the brushes are for what kind of shape they are if you you know you're not paying that close of attention on a video I know lots of times I don't um, but I do say the names uh, the numbers on the brushes they're written on the handle and then you can try to find one of yours that looks similar or is similar to that same brush and you can look them up 
on their online store and you'll be able to see the shape and the length and all of that good stuff all of the good information I also have ones that I use every day that don't look that pretty and they are like this and many of them these are just my everyday brushes lots of them come from Alta uh, some come from Alamar these are some of my very favorite brushes from Alamar they are so good um, and some of them are from TJ Maxx and the names and numbers have worn off of them so it's harder for me to identify them and let you know what I'm using but those are the ones I use on an everyday basis the Morphe ones I use I try to save kind of for when I'm doing my videos so that I'm not washing 500 brushes at a time so those are the brushes I'm using today we're gonna go ahead and get started um, this is a nice fluffy blending brush it's the R37 I'm gonna go in with my first shade and I'm gonna choose the um, I probably I'm gonna mix two one is called BB girl it's a very light pink matte and the other is called cha-cha and it's a little bit more of a brownie um, pink and that one's here so I'm gonna kind of mix the two because I don't think the very very light pink is gonna show up on me considering how kind of white and pink I already am if you're wondering uh, anything that I already have on mirrors over here again I'll be looking over there sometimes it's very hard for me to see the tiny little monitor on my camera and I don't have a larger one set up yet so we're working with the mirror I do look a little shiny today it's warm here today in Pennsylvania and you won't hear me complaining not even a little bit about the heat I love it you also probably hear my air conditioner come on I'm hoping that it doesn't completely annoy you I'm hoping that my microphone is picking up me much more than it is the air conditioner because if I turn the air conditioner off I'm gonna turn into a puddle I live in a two-story house it's very warm upstairs without the AC on so we'll see how this goes if it doesn't work out then probably next time I will have to set up some fans and things in here uh, that are more quiet than the AC it in it's really a pretty quiet unit so I'm hoping and it doesn't bother you I miss talking it might seem super weird if you think about it I'm sitting in a room by myself talking to no one but that's not how I feel when I do it I feel like I'm talking to the people that are watching me a video or will someday someday watch my videos I'm hoping and I don't feel as alone and it's nice to know that people out there are going through the exact same thing that I'm going through and that we're all just kind of muddling through the best we can I wonder if your state is starting to open back up again ours is in Pennsylvania um, I believe as of Friday they open stores and retail locations I'm not sure about restaurants I haven't checked to be honest with you I'm not going to be one of those first people out the door and raring to go into the stores and things I just I'm not there's nothing to me that is that urgent and important that I need to run out and do or see right now so I'll be hanging back and kind of waiting and I sound so nasally fun fact I have to get an allergy testing done next week this this coming week so I had to stop taking all of my allergy medicines a week prior to that so <laughs> now I'm sniffing and snotty and it's not pretty that's what I have to do now I'm going for a more rosy a little bit of a darker I don't call this red but some people might call it red um, and we're just gonna deepen up that crease just a little bit I know you probably don't know this but I'm not going anywhere this evening I know Saturday night we are having a game night though here at the house with just our family my daughter's bringing her fiance over and we're gonna play some games and that is always a good time we we all my little tiny family here we all get along very very well and we like to spend time together so we'll be doing that tonight and let's see any new news yes I got my Mother's Day gift this past weekend I got a new swing for outside in the yard it is a beautiful three-seater swing the swing that we had lasted us for so long I'm telling you that swing 
and I had repainted it and done some work on it obviously through the years but that swing lasted us 23 or 24 years that is not a joke it was a big metal swing and um, it had done its job and then some it was time for a new one and I love this one too it's a little squishier and a little more comfortable than the old one the old one had more of a um, oh what would it be called it had like a woven seat on it and this one has actual big cushions and this one can lie flat like a bed which is phenomenal first thing we did was lay it flat to see how we my daughter and I to see how we would look at the stars at night and we have a telescope and we like to look at the stars and the moon so it'll be fun I love to be outside I'll be outside all the time I'm not a mountain climber or anything um, and I'm not into any real outdoor sports that they would like hunting or fishing or anything like that I used to be um, I switched to a smaller more dense brush in case you're following along this just helps me to make it more precise where I want to put that darker color this is an M456 it has shorter bristles and they're packed tighter so any brush that you want to put down the color a little more uh, precise and and have it show up a little darker I mean you can see the difference in that just using a different brush it's the same color but it's performing way different with a different brush and I want it pinpoint it mostly in the outer V here the outer corner and then a tad bit in the crease we're just adding some definition to the eye so I used to be a very avid um, horseback riding rider we had three horses and then um, I injured my back and we still had the horses and I was still riding for many years after that but then it just got to be too much I had had five back surgeries at this point it was time to hang up the spurs so to speak and I did very begrudgingly and with many many tears my horse in particular was my child so he went back though to the same farm that he uh, grew up on so I was very happy about that he already knew he already knew the lady she had trained him um, he was very comfortable with her and it was kind of like him going home as well so it wasn't as terrible um, as it could have been uh, had I had to sell him or give him away to someone that I couldn't visit or couldn't see so I am going to take now a smudger brush that's just a very short uh, the top is usually kind of rounded summer this one is, is nicely rounded pretty thin brush this is the Morphe R43 I'm going to take that last color we were using which is by the way called wink wink I'm going to put a little bit of that and I'm going to run it on the lower lash line yes my horse um, got to go back home to the farm where he grew up that was the best outcome I think that could have happened other than you know me being fine and being able to still ride which believe me I had seen many doctors and asked many many questions and was getting the same answer from all of them that it was no longer possible if I wanted to continue to walk and be able to do other things like go to work but I'd still I love being outside it's it's just I need fresh air I need the I need to be outside and see the trees and the leaves and hear the birds we have a lot of bird feeders and I love to sit and watch the birds as well something that has really helped me through this isolation is being able to see outside connect myself more with nature and realize that there's a whole world going on just just in our own yard you don't have to go that far um, lots of things to see and beautiful colors and and I had no idea we had this many different kinds of birds in Pennsylvania but they've all been kind of coming through and I've been home to see them so next uh, usually I put a shimmer on my lid this palette does have 
a glitter which I won't be using today I used a glitter yesterday and man I had glitter everywhere I love glitter but if you're going to wear glitter just know that you're gonna have it everywhere it's just gonna go everywhere glitter glue or not it is everywhere um, so I am gonna put a shimmer on the lid I'm gonna use this one called risque it's a very light pink it looks so pretty I'm gonna use my finger first and see how that goes Colourpop does some beautiful shimmers. I won't be able to get it into that inner corner because of my nails, even though I'm wearing the shortest nails I could find. They're still not letting me get into that inner corner. So I'll get a tiny brush and we'll do the very inner corner of the eye with that. But your fingers are good tools especially with shimmers and glitters and that is dry that's with no with no kind of moisture at all no setting spray no water their shimmers are gorgeous you cannot beat them so I'm gonna clean off that smudge brush and take a bit of that risque color on that and just run it on the inner portion of my eye where I couldn't get it with what a pretty color I like that a lot this palette is really nice, especially if you like mauves and pinks. And I think they probably call some of these red, but these aren't like fire engine red. They're like <clears throat> a very muted kind of a brick red. Um, beautiful. They've got several of them in here that I guess, I'm not sure what they call those. Are they, they're a matte, but they have glitter in them. And my advice to you is whenever you see one that is like that, it's a matte, but you can see that there are glitter sparkly particles in it. Use your finger and just a tapping motion and you will get that glitter to stay. Because if you just put it on a brush, it's not going to adhere. If you use your finger, it will. They work beautifully. I know that Tati Westbrook has it in her palette. I think she has some shades like that and they are gorgeous and that is the easiest best advice I can give you for those ones they don't really work that well with a brush you can get the matte color with a brush but if you try to use the brush on those kinds of I don't know, I forget the, what they call sequin maybe anyway if you try to use a brush with it you'll brush away all that beautiful glitter so your finger again best friend works really great and uh, next we're gonna go in with some liner I have all my liners right here. My favorite liner at the moment is my Benefit Roller Liner. I've been using it quite a bit. Looks like this. This is just their mini version of it though, their travel size. It has, it kind of looks like a big tip, but it works really well. Um, doing, I just want to put a very small line um, along the top. I do have some liners that every time I take them out, I have to shake it and get some out on a paper towel and really mess with it. This I don't. I take it out, I open it, and it goes right on smooth as butter. So I have a bunch of other ones I should be using, but right now, that one's my favorite. I'll let that dry a little bit before we try to do any curl of the lashes. And while we're doing that, um, I think we're gonna try to <clears throat> deepen up this outer corner even a little darker. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can skip this step and just stick with what you have. I wanted to show you how I would easily take this from kind of a day look. I would wear this during the day. I would wear this to work. Yes, it has glitter and sparkles in it. I don't care. I like glitter and sparkles but I'm gonna take the darker shade called please me and I'm gonna darken up the outer corner a little bit more drag a tiny bit of it into the crease I'm gonna show you how you can take something that can be very wearable during the day and again I'm not one of those people I wear whatever I want day or night I don't care what day of the week it is I don't care where I'm going I do whatever eye makeup I want to wear but this is I guess will be considered kind of snazzing it up for for nighttime wear if you will so I'm just going to pat that into the outer corner and we're using this small, more detailed brush. I'm going to drag a little bit of it up into the crease. Also to make it more 
glamorous, I guess you could say, you could also go ahead and do a winged liner with it. Then I'm going to take the smudge brush that we used earlier, a little short one, take that same shade and do the outer corner. Just kind of meet them up. I'm only going to take that in about halfway, about to the middle of my pupil. Your eye shape may be different and you may need to practice different eye looks to figure out which one you like best with your eye look but I think this is flattering I like the way it kind of lifts the eye up without actually having to do the winged liner so I pat 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 in that outer corner and that liner needs fixed you can see that now So quiet. I, uh, I'm not a fan of the absolute silence. It's hard for me sometimes. Um, so I usually have a podcast going or a um, TV show even in the background that I've seen a million times. Will and Grace, Friends, something I've watched lots and I don't have to actually watch because I don't love the silence. It's a little better. I'm also going to tight line that top lash line and for that I use my trusty Maybelline Master Precise Skinny. This one's in Defining Black. I also use brown. They are so tiny. Look at this thing. It's the tiniest pencil I've ever seen in my life. It is the only pencil that does not bother my very very itchy watery eyes. It kind of fills in that space between your uh, eyelid and where you put that top liner so that you don't have this line of like flesh colored uh, skin in between so let's see what we're gonna put on the waterline today there are only about 9,000 choices um, I've got several favorites that I use quite a bit for a like a wine burgundy kind of a look um, we've got this one from hard candy it's one of their stroke of gorgeous liners and the color is shimmer don't wine and it is a beautiful wine color obviously the name and uh, those are great they glide on beautifully they're very soft um, they can be smudged out you've got some time to work with them I also have one from melt that I really really love it's called I don't know if it's Lamia or Lamia L-A-M-I-A -A. again a beautiful kind of a burgundy wine color love it and I can tell you that between the two there's about a I don't know 15 16 dollar difference but melt stays on a lot longer this is the expensive one and it does it holds up on the waterline a lot longer I also have a really super pretty one from Believe Beauty which you can find in Dollar General and it is one of their long-lasting eyeliners and it's called Queen Mauve and this one is a um, you just twist it up it doesn't sharpen beautiful color on that one too again it does not have the staying power of the melt one but it is really beautiful beautiful color so if you don't care that it doesn't last a whole lot of time on you then you could use one of the either of the other two which are both I want to say they are both five dollars or under you can't beat that so I'm gonna use the hard candy one today and we're just gonna put that in the waterline it is now time for the eyelash curling I have no idea where this eyelash curler is from I'm sure it's from TJ Maxx but it doesn't have a company it doesn't have a logo on it regular old eyelash curler um, I do curl my lashes so I'm letting that lash primer dry for a few seconds before because I can still feel it and you can see it when it's dry it turns clear so the white will go away and you'll just be left with primed and ready lashes and then I'll go in with my mascara so it is the hourglass caution mascara and I do have a little mini and I guess I was 
figuring that I was going to be super wild by this because Hourglass is a very um, kind of prestige company and their powders are gorgeous. I just expected more, but to be honest, I don't think it outdoes my benefit um, their real mascara or the Bad Gal Bang. I really don't. Sometimes mascaras, you have to use them a few times before you really like them. I don't know if they need to dry out if it's too wet, but this one, is, it hasn't been great. Again, we're going to go top lashes with this. I'm going to use a colored one on the bottom. So we're going to let that dry. Remember, if you get any on your eyelashes or under your eyes, wait and scrape them off with your eyebrow brush. Do not touch them. Do not smear them. Be patient and don't panic. So, these are them. They are their BFF Volumizing Mascaras. And they do have it in black and brown, but they also have it in these gorgeous colors. This one is called Sky High, but it's a really, really pretty, like, baby blue, which obviously we are not going to use today. But it is awesome. And then I also have some from Hard Candy, and they kind of look like this. It's their Be Bold colored mascaras. This one's in a really pretty, like, olive green. Love this one, too. They all have different wands on them. They're all from different companies. But it's a really pretty like olive green. Today, I'm going to use one that I use all the time. This one's by Maybelline. It's called their Snap Scara. It's so cute. It has little like little eyeballs on it with little eyelashes. So cute. And this one is called Black Cherry, right? Yes. Black Cherry. And it looks like what you would think Black Cherry would be. It's a very, very, very dark burgundy wine color so in all honesty you probably can't tell that's what I'm wearing unless you get right up on it but I know it's there and I think it's fun and it makes me feel good so I use it I love it so I'm gonna use that on the bottom lashes today my hands get in the way all right so that is it for me on the eyes and I really like how it turned out um, you can really see the different shades that I used Actually, you know what? I forgot to highlight my inner corner. And you know what? I'm a highlight the inner corner kind of gal. So we're just going to go back and do that. Because in real life, that is exactly what I would do. I would go, what is this missing? It's missing a highlight. And you know what? This palette does not provide anything that I would call an inner corner highlight. Unless you were going very dark on your eye then you could use the risque that we used all over the lid on the inner corner but out of frame sorry I have a whole drawer full of ones that I can use and I think we're gonna pull out this one by hard candy it is their prismatic highlighter in iridescent pearl it looks very white but it has a very pretty pink shift to it so we're gonna take a little bit of that on a nice pencil brush this one happens to be the M431, and we're just going to pop that right in the inner corner. So now I can say that's it for the eyes, and that's how I would leave it. I um, hope you like the look. We'll go ahead and finish up with lips, and also um, we need a little powder on the face. So, I tried to use as many ColourPop items as I could get. So, the next is a ColourPop Lippy Pencil, one of their lip liners. This one is in Shot Clock. It's a very pretty, um, kind of a nudie pink color. There we go. I like to fully line in my lips with uh, their lip liners. They're so creamy and soft. You could use them as a lipstick, put a gloss on top, and you'd be all set. I mean, their um, lip liners are phenomenal. I love them. And then we're going to use a ColourPop um, Velvet Blur lipstick, and this one is in uh, California Love, and it just says CA, so CA Love. It's kind of a nudie pink as well.
very creamy, very soft. I would say that shade, there we go. That shade has slightly more brown in it than the lip liner did, but they look really pretty together. And I think it looks nice with this eye look. And it, when it says velvet blur, it does. It looks like it has blurred out the lines in my lips and kind of, it's not a matte and it doesn't feel drying or, it's very, very comfortable to wear. But I like gloss and shiny, so we're gonna go with the gloss as well. This is something that I just received in the mail. Um, this is the ColourPop Luxe Gloss, and the color is Check In. It's a very, very pretty pink. And I like their Luxe Glosses. I prefer them over their Ultra Glossy Lip. I really do. Um, for me, when I compared the two, I think that the ultra glossy lips are stickier than this new Lux formula. And also, I don't like a brush. I know some people do. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why you would want a brush on your lip gloss. I think it's, it feels like I'm using like fingernail paint on my lips, but whatever. Um, I don't like the brushes on the glosses and I prefer the doe foot. It's so soft. Very nice, love them. So I will be purchasing a more because they're again, very affordable as is all ColourPop products. So let's get some powder on this very, very shiny face. Something I've found recently and I've really, really been enjoying is the Physician Formula Natural Defense Setting the Tone Finishing Powder with Sunscreen. Yes, that's a huge name. I don't think we had to like, why did we have to do all of those names in one product? I don't know, but it's very nice. I just take a little bit on a brush, such as this. This is one of my e.l.f. brushes. It's the highlighting brush that I love to use under my eyes. But I just take a little bit of that powder on there and kind of press it into the skin. It does a great job at blurring and mattifying. Shiny, who? not me. No more shine over here. And it smells like, I think it's, it's definitely floral. It's not, I don't think it's roses. But it might be. I don't see anything on it that says, I know they have their whole rose line and this isn't it, but it smells really nice. I like the smell of it. And then a little bit of, I'm gonna just go ahead and use the Smashbox Serene Greens Photo Finish Primer Water because it's sitting right here. Love this stuff, love the way it smells. It smells like fresh cut grass to me. And we're gonna just freshen everything up. Take these very weird little breaths out of my hair. We'll do a tiny little floof and then I would call that done, especially since I'm not even going anywhere. <laughs> Whatever. Um, what do we think of the pink hair? What are we thinking? I want to try lavender, but I also like the pink and I also like being blonde. So I don't know what to do next. Like I'm stuck. It's already, I'm, I'm still two weeks out from when I'm supposed to do it again. And it's already showing a lot of blonde, especially here. Although the blonde is starting to come through. So I don't know what I want to do next. Leave some comments down below. Let me know what you think. What is your opinion? I will read them. Will I take it into consideration? Maybe, maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. I'm pretty bullheaded when people tell me to do something. And then I just don't do it but I will definitely take it into consideration and I love reading comments from people so leaving me comments is just like a tiny little gift wrapped in a bow that I get to see after I'm done with all this hard work of my video so please please subscribe if you haven't ring the bell so you can be notified if I ever upload again no I will I will upload again and hopefully get on some kind of a schedule over the summer but thank you so much for spending your time with me. Um, I miss you all, and I will be back soon. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm.